There's no question that the glacier heavyweights are Greenland and Antarctica. However, what's interesting is the amount that the Alaskan glaciers are contributing to sea level rise. More than 99% of the world's ice is presently contained in Antarctica and Greenland. However, of all the water contributed to the oceans by glacier ice melting in the last decade or so, something like 9% is thought to have come from the Alaskan glaciers. What that means is that our glaciers are melting fast. Coastal Alaska, where most of our big glaciers exist, is not really that cold of a place. Our biggest glaciers owe their presence not primarily to this place being super cold, but to it being really snowy. And so it doesn't take a lot of warming to either melt those glaciers faster or, importantly, change a lot of the snowfall into rain. And by starving a glacier of snowfall during rain events, you contribute to its shrinkage. The fungi has a scaffold that allows for structural integrity and it allows us to create blocks of insulation within a week. The first question we always get, is this going to kill me if I touch it? 